everyone, I'm here again with the bunnies and this video is going to be about mites, how to identify mites and also how to treat them. And I was asked to film this by Juliana who commented on my last video so thank you for that. So my last video I was showing you how Bertie has mites so if you want to know more about how he got them, hello, about how he got them and how we treated him then do check out that last video. But in this one I'm just going to be talking a bit about how you can identify mites. So, so firstly I'll show you a healthy rabbit and show you how you know that they don't have mites. So for example we have primrose here. So if you check their fur, have a look. It's just nice and clean. There's no bald patches, there's no dandruff. It's just a nice smooth coat. So that's how you know that you've got a healthy rabbit and no signs of mites causing an issue. With Bertie over here, he did have mites. I think they've gone now, but we are just working on growing his fur back. So with Bertie, the first thing I noticed was that he had a bald patch. So if I just lift his ears up, you can see there he has a bald patch. So every day you should check your rabbits over, make sure that they don't have any bald patches, they don't have any sore patches. And if they have a bald patch, that could be due to mites or it could be due to say fighting or something along those lines. It could be that another rabbit's pulled some fur out or something. But if they've got a bald patch, mites is always a possibility. Also, they might have dandruff. So, let's look, see, you're healthy. There's no, like, dandruff or anything that's nice and clean. But with Bertie here, don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of dandruff. So, if you see dandruff, that means that the skin has been a bit irritated and the rabbit's probably been scratching at it. And that's caused dandruff to occur. But also with mites, it has a nickname of walking dandruff because it can look like the dandruff is moving and that's because of all the mites in the rabbit's fur. So yeah, I would say look out for bald patches, look out for dandruff and also look out for any sore skin. If the skin looks red or sore, that could be due to mites. Bertie's mites looks quite bad. He's got quite a big bald patch, but when we first noticed it, it was only a tiny little bit on his nose and a tiny little bit on his neck. And initially we thought that could be due to fighting. We thought maybe... He'd been nipped by one of the other bunnies, so we kept a close eye on it and uh, contacted the vets. The vet confirmed that it was mites, so we started treating him for that. And it actually got worse before it got better, so the ball patch is quite big now, but it wasn't like that to begin with. I think whilst he was being treated, he was still itching and that did cause more of his fur to come out. And that's why he has quite a big ball patch on him. So, to treat mites, there are two main ways. The first one and most efficient way is an injection. It is an injection of a drug called Ivermectin. I might have completely butchered that name. I really don't know how to pronounce it, so we'll just go with that. And that is an antiparasitic drug. And then they will have another injection two weeks later. Apparently they need two injections because that's the life cycle of the eggs. And then hopefully they should be fine. But obviously keep a close eye on it just in case they're not. And obviously contact your vet if the mites haven't gone. The second option is through a topical treatment. So that is what I was given for Bertie. And if I had known about the injections, I probably would have asked for that. But I, I wasn't aware at the time. So we did use the topical treatment. So I was given the spot on treatment, which is called Xeno 450. And that is for rabbits that weigh 1.2 kilograms and above. Now Bertie weighs 1.3 so he was able to have that one but they do actually have another one for rabbits that weigh less and I think that's called a Xeno 50. So make sure that you know your rabbits weight before you give them that spot on treatment. So he had his first dose on the day we collected it from the vets. Two weeks later he had his second dose and then two weeks after that he had his third dose. So usually they only need three doses and then hopefully the mites should clear up and they should be fine. But obviously if they're not, take them back to the vet and maybe they'll give them the injection or maybe they'll try something else. Or maybe it was never mites to begin with, in which case your vet will do some tests and work that out. But yeah, it seems to be doing the job. His fur is growing back now. It did take a while for that to start coming back. The first dose we didn't really see anything changing but after the second one all his fur grew back on his face and his fur started growing back on his neck as well so yeah that's pretty much how you treat mites another thing is if they're itching all the time they might not have a ball patch but if they are itching that probably shows that they're irritated and they might have an infestation going on another common thing that can happen with rabbits is ear mites so they might not have mites like bertie does with it being in his fur 
but it's actually inside the ears and you can usually tell that because the rabbit will be itching their ears a lot or they'll be shaking their head a lot and maybe even like tilting the head to one side and ear mites is treated in the exact same way so also look out for that as well but yeah the main way to identify if your rabbit has mites is to check their fur daily make sure there's no ball patches no soreness no dandruff anything like that and obviously if they do have it then either opt for the injection or the treatment you have to be very careful which treatment you do use if you are getting the topical like spot on treatment because some of them are not made for rabbits and they can actually kill them so you've just got to be very careful which one you use your vet should know which one to give i can definitely recommend the xeno 450 because i know that that is safe you can buy the spot on treatment online but i wouldn't recommend doing that unless you have already spoken to your vet and they have agreed that it is mites and that you can get the treatment and the reason for that is because usually when rabbits get mites it's due to an underlying cause so their immune system might be down. For example, with Bertie, we're pretty sure it's down to the fact that he had lost weight. That's why he had mites. But it could be down to anything. It could be due to dental disease and they're having difficulty washing themselves. And then that's led to mites flaring up. It could be a variety of different things. So the best thing to do is take your rabbit to the vets to find out if it definitely is mites. If it is, why has it happened? And then obviously get the correct treatment for that. So hopefully this helps some of you. If it has, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not already. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye.